can remain seated for a few moments, please. So on behalf of Father Anselm and myself, a warm welcome to all of us as we gather here for the funeral mass of Mehal Waters. As we unite now in prayerful support and in sympathy with his loving family, his wife Monica, his daughter Sandra, Miriam, Denise and Audrey, his sons Kevin, Derek and Michael Jr., his sons-in-law Vincent, Mark, Martin and Miriam's partner Stephen, his daughters-in-law Michelle, Rachel and Kate, his 19 beloved grandchildren, his brothers Patsy, Jimmy and Liam and sisters Kitty, Monica, Jane, Angela, Margaret and Anne, his many nephews, nieces, relatives, extended family and friends and neighbours. And to all of them, on behalf of Father Anselm and myself, we extend our prayerful support and our sincere sympathies. May God comfort them and strengthen their faith. And may they and all of us find comfort and consolation in Michal's funeral mass here today. I welcome also all who are joining via the Joe Finnegan YouTube webcam channel. And I know that your presence and your prayers are a great support to Michal's family at this time of sadness and loss and is very much appreciated with them. In our Mass this morning, we also remember Michal's deceased parents, Francie and Kathleen, his late sister Maureen and his late brothers Frank, Oliver and Kevin. And let us pray too for all our own departed loved ones, our families and friends and all on the parish list of the dead. So, dear Monica and family, please be assured that Michal's wide circle of family and friends surround you today with their love and their prayers at this time. So now I invite Denise to describe some of the symbols of Michal's life, which will be carried up by Jack and Matthew, Rosie, Oren, Danny, Neve, and Alfie. Jack and Matthew present symbols for Daddy's love of golf, his putter, and his 2008 RD Golf Club jumper, his captain's jumper. Rosie and Oren present Daddy's mug of tea and his cigarettes as to represent his love of people and a good chat. Danny is presenting a beautiful shrub to represent Daddy's love for his garden. <coughs> Neve holds his greatest love of all, his family. Alfie is presenting a garden shed, a symbol of the legacy which Daddy leaves behind. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Denise, and all the grandchildren for uh, bringing up those symbols. So now, dear friends, we stand and begin our Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So as we gather before God's altar, we are conscious of this holy season of Lent and the invitation to us all to turn away from our sins and return to the way of Christ. So for the times when we failed in our love for God and our love for one another, we pray and ask for God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord of mercy, Christ of mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant Behal, whom you have called from this world to journey to you. And since he hoped and believed in you, grant that he may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. We sit now, please, and we listen to the readings of the Word of God. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The virtuous man, though he die before his time, will find rest. Length of days is not what makes age honourable, nor number of years the true measure of life. Understanding, this is man's grey hairs, untarnished life, this is ripe old age. He sought to please God, so God has loved him, as he was among us, or living among us. He has been taken up. He has been carried off so that evil may not warp his understanding or treachery seduce his soul. For the fascination of evil throws good things into the shade, and the whirlwind of desire corrupts a simple heart. (coughs) Coming to perfection is so short a while. He achieved long life, his soul being pleasing to the Lord. He has taken him quickly from us, yet people look on, uncomprehending. It does not enter their heads that grace and mercy await the chosen of the Lord and the protection of his holy ones. This is the word of the Lord.
Second reading. A reading from the first letter to St. John. Think of the love that the Father has shown us by letting us be called God's children, and that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge him, therefore it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we should be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I'm going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. So once again, dear friends, a warm welcome to all as we gather here for Michal's Funeral Mass. I welcome also all participating uh, via the live streaming courtesy of Joe Finnegan videos. <coughs> Excuse me. As you know, death is always hard on family and loved ones left behind. And we all feel for the family and our hearts go out to them knowing the sadness and the sorrow and the loneliness that they are feeling. It's especially sad for Michal's beloved wife, Monica, and for Sandra and Kevin and Derek and Miriam and Denise and Michael Jr. and Audrey and all their families. Michal lived his life well and was adored by his family. He was a loving husband, a good father, a grandfather, a brother, good neighbor, and friend. And for his beloved 19 grandchildren, it's especially sad losing someone whom they love so much and someone who was so very proud of each and every one of them. How lovely it was for them to gather around their grandfather's bed and pray together for him during his final illness. I know how much they will really miss their grandfather And I have no doubt that he will continue to care for them and to look after them from his high place now in heaven. Nowadays, sadly, for some people, death seems so final, the end of it all. But not so, dear friends, for us who are gathered here this morning in faith, because we believe in the risen Christ. You see before you the lighted paschal candle, representing Christ's victory over sin, over suffering, and over death itself. That candle lit here on Easter Saturday, Holy Saturday night at the Easter Vigil, representing the risen Lord. At this time of year, during Lent, we are preparing 
to celebrate again that great feast of Easter, which celebrates the resurrection of Christ from the dead. And for us who believe in Jesus, death is not the end, but the doorway to eternal life, to the fullness of life with the risen Lord himself. And Michal was a person of faith, and he believed in the risen Lord. And like all of us, how often in this church he would have prayed the words of the creed, I believe in the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. So today in our sadness and our grief at his passing, we commend him now to the loving kindness and to the mercy of Jesus Christ. As we gather here to celebrate Michal's funeral today, we appreciate that life at Lent is a time of preparation for the celebration of Easter. And that mystery of Christ's passion, death and resurrection gives us hope and brings us consolation. Michal's whole life was indeed a time of preparation for his own Easter, for his sharing in the Christ's victory over death itself. Michal was married to Monica 56 years ago and together they were blessed with a loving family of four daughters and three sons and 19 grandchildren. He was a loving husband, father and grandfather, kind and generous, a good neighbour and a friend to so many. He was also a very caring man who had a great love for people and for life. In 1988, Michal and Monica walked a hundred miles in five days for the Irish Wheelchair Association in the Holy Land. He was always a man who was up for a good chat, had a big smile for everyone, and always welcoming and saying a big hello to all. He was also well known and respected here in his own parish and much farther afield. And we know that he will be greatly missed by his family and by his many friends alike. I know the heartbreak it is for Monica and for Mike Michal's family to bid a fond farewell to him today. And each of us in our own way, in our own time, know the pain of parting with a parent or a loved one, a family member. Our hearts go out to all who are grieving the recent loss of their loved ones also. Yes, Although our hearts may be broken in grief at the death of a loved one, at the death of Michal, who was so much loved and cherished by his family and his friends, today we gather here and we can give glory to God that he was a believer. He believed in Christ and in the resurrection. Michal followed Jesus all through his life, and he put his trust in God and in our blessed mother, Mary. In his final illness, Michal cherished the little statue of Our Lady of Lourdes, which he held closely as he departed this life. Michal was a man who had his priorities right, love of God, love of his family and friends, kindness and concern for others. Doing his best for everyone, Michal put his faith into practice. Today we entrust him to that loving embrace of Jesus, our Saviour. We must let him go, go to God and go to our Blessed Mother, whom he loved dearly. We let him go also to join those of family and friends who have gone ahead of him into that place of light, happiness and peace, which we call heaven. We have listened to the word of God here in our Mass this morning. In the first reading we heard how length of days is not what makes age honourable, nor the number of years the true meaning of life. How very true, because we all know that our life, be it long or be it short, it is how we live that life and what good use of the talents and gifts that God has given us and how we use them for the glory of God and for the well-being of others that really matters. Michal's death has allowed us to see and to appreciate the impact that he has made on all of you, his family, and all of you who knew him and loved him so much. In the second reading, St. John invites us to think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children, for that is what we are, 
and we shall see him as he really is. We shall see God face to face. Today we pray that Michal will rejoice in seeing God face to face, for how very true it was for him, a man of faith, who lavished his love on his wife and his family. His life, dear friends, was well lived, and we believe has not come to an end, but rather to fulfilment and to completion. In the Gospel, Jesus tells us, I am going now to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. None of us know the day or the hour when the Lord will come and call us to himself. We pray that we may be worthy of that place that he has prepared for each one of us. May our blessed Mother Mary, who stood by the cross as her own son was dying, comfort you, Monica, and the family in this time of sadness and grief. Our blessed Lady had the joy also of seeing the risen Lord, And may each one of you know that Michal now shares in the glory of Christ's resurrection. May Michal be forever happy in the company of all the saints, and together with all those of his family and friends who have gone ahead of him, marked with the sign of faith. We pray that Michal, for whom this life journey has now ended, has heard those words of Jesus. Well done, good and faithful servant. Come now and take possession of that place prepared for you since the foundation of the world. Once again, on my own behalf, on behalf of Father Anselm and all of you here present and all joining via the webcam link, I extend to you, Monica, and to the family our sincere sympathies and our prayerful support. Eternal rest grant unto me, all, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. So I invite those who are leading us now in the prayers of the faithful to come forward, please. So dear friends, since God has loved us so much, we too ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but so long as we love one another, God will live in us and his love will be complete in us. And we know that love is stronger than death. So let us now pray to God who first loved us. We pray for all of those whose lives are dedicated to caring for the sick. And in particular, we pray for the doctors and nurses. The palliative care team, Dr. McGahan from Saint, from Tierney Street Surgery and the staff of St. Anne's Home Care, who cared for Grandad during his illness. May God reward their goodness and kindness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. <coughs> we pray with thanks for Grand. We pray with thanks for Grandad's neighbours and friends who have been so kind to us during this time of sadness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who have died, especially the relatives and friends of Grandad who have gone before him. May God unite them all in happiness and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who are ill at this moment. May God lay his healing hand on them and give them courage and hope. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who mourn and may their tears be wiped away and may their their mourning be turned to joy. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We would like to thank Granite's daughter-in-law, Michelle, who looked after Granite's medical needs so tenderly in his final days. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we ask our Blessed Lady to pray for us all, both now and at the hour of our own death, as we pray together. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord, support us all the day long, till the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed. 
fever of life is over and our work is done, then, Lord, in your great mercy, grant us all a safe lodging, a holy rest and peace at last. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The gifts of bread and wine will be carried to the altar now and will become for us the body and blood of Jesus in our Mass here today. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Michal, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your Son to be a loving Saviour may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection is dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed and not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for us in heaven. And so with angels, archangels, with thrones and dominions in the heavenly host, we join the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Amen, our Bishop, as Assistant Bishop Michael, all the clergy, religious, and your people everywhere. Remember your servant, Michal, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We stand together now and we pray those words that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, keep us always free from sin and safe from all anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive it.
Reflection for us, please. Time for me to go now. I won't say goodbye. Look for me in the rainbows, way up in the sky. In the morning sunrise, when all the world is new, just look for me and love me, as you know I loved you. Time for me to leave you, I won't say goodbye. Look for me in the rainbows, high up in the sky. In the evening sunset, when all the world is through, just look for me and love me, and I'll be close to you. It won't be forever, the day will come and then, my loving arms will hold you when we meet again. Time for us to part now, we won't say goodbye. Look for me in rainbows, shining in the sky. Every waking moment, and all your whole life through. Just look for me and love me, as you know I loved you. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment I. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment I. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment I. 
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother Michal may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God, now the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon us all, and remain with us forever. Amen. Kindly sit up, please, and Michael Jr. will say a few words on behalf of the family. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is one of the most difficult days in our family's life, as we say goodbye to our loving father. Michael Noel Waters was born in Drumcondra, County Mead, in 1947, a village which he loved so much. Along with his family and friends, he spent his school days there and spent many days cutting turf for his family home. Back then, life was tough. He started working in RD chair factory at the age of 12. He would cycle his bike to RD every day, no matter the weather. It was here that he found his new love for wood. A few years later, he went to work in McGee's of R.D., where again his passion for timber grew, making many friends along the way. Whilst working in R.D., he found another new love. This time it was in Gutterstown, where he met his lifelong friend, Monica. Two and a half years later, a wedding was happening, and his life was progressing for the better. Shortly after the wedding, to move to Rootstown, where they set about building a home. Daddy continued his passion for timber, which led him to Farrells of RD, although a few walls were built and a few houses renovated in the meantime. Again, working hard, he set about building his family. Sandra came first, then Kevin and Derek. While working hard, he began making a garden shed for his beloved mammy. She ins- insisted that she paid him and presented him with five pounds. With this five pounds, he bought a log. He got it cut up, not knowing what was about to unfold. This was the beginning of his legacy. Not long after this, Miriam came along. For a few more years, whilst he worked an eight to five job and delivering turf and logs, he would make some sheds at night. In 1977, he decided to take a chance and started full time at his new venture. This was Rootstown clinker-built garden sheds. Denise came along in 78, followed soon by myself, then Audrey. Now his family was complete. Daddy, as we know him, was a simple man who worked hard all his life. He gave us everything that we ever needed. He was helped along the way by many great men, but the biggest help of all was his much-beloved Monica. She was always there to guide him and give him plenty of jobs. <laughs> Soon we moved to Drumcastle. This was his forever home, a home that he was very proud of. Together, we slowly built his business, which became Michael Waters and Sons Garden Sheds. Daddy was a man who could fix anything. He had a special gift. He was blessed not only with great hands, but also a calm, loving nature. No matter what or who went wrong, Daddy was always there to fix it. Later in life, he found a new passion. This was his love for golf. Together, he and Mammy spent much time making many friends and memories in RD Golf Club. He became a big part of RD Golf Club, first becoming a committee member. He then became captain in 2008, a year he loved so much. He then became one of three trustees. 20, 22 and 23, he was due to become president of the golf club, a role he could not fulfill due to his illness. Daddy had a passion for life. No matter what he set about doing, he would finish it perfectly. Many would see him either in his garden cutting grass or along the road cleaning. One of Daddy's sayings was, no matter How little you have, if it's clean and tidy, it will always look a million dollars. 
Another saying he lived by was, don't leave till tomorrow what you can do today. What a wise man. Soon his family grew much bigger, with 19 grandchildren. Every single one he loved so much. Daddy never forgot where he came from or who helped him along his way. Daddy was one of life's greatest gentlemen, and he leaves behind him a great legacy, which I think everyone will agree. Until his last breath, he wanted us to be together, and please God, this will be. At the very end, he found the strength, and his last words he whispered to my mom was, I love you. Sleep well, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. You've done your father proud. So we can stand now for the final obsequies. Dear family and friends, before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother Michal. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. For one day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Father Anselm now will sprinkle Michael's coffin with the holy water, calling to mind the day of his baptism and the gift of eternal life he received in that sacrament. It incense his mortal remains, reminding that our bodies are the temples of God's Holy Spirit. of the Lord. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May the angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto me, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Michal, in the sure and certain hope that, together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the many blessings you bestowed upon him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with all the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant Michal, and help us who remain to comfort one another with the assurances of our faith until we all meet in Christ and are with our brother forever. Behold, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels welcome you where Lazarus is poor no longer and may you find eternal rest. In peace now, let us take our brother to his rest in Palapust or in Stabannon Cemetery.
Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our brother Michal is gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope and eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray also to the Lord for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. We read in the sacred scriptures, Come, you whom my Father has blessed, says the Lord, inherit the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brother Michal may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see you face to face, and in your light he will see light and know the splendor of God forever. Mighty God bless this grave, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember me. Because God has chosen to call our brother Michal from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth. For we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus will raise up our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is the firstborn from the dead. So we commend our brother to the Lord. The Lord may embrace him in peace and raise him up on the last day. Dust you are, to dust you shall return. The Lord will raise you up on the last day. Dear friends, in reverence, let us pray to God, the source of all mercies. You raise the dead to life, give our brother eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to all who mourn for me, Hall, and dry the tears of all who weep. Lord, have mercy. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of our brother. Let our faith be our consolation, eternal life, our hope. Lord, have mercy. We pray for all who are buried in this cemetery. May their sufferings be lessened, their joy be increased. May the light of glory shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Lord, have mercy. With coming, longing for the coming of God's kingdom, we pray in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. It will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Loving God, from whom all life proceeds and by whose hand the dead are raised again, though we are sinners, you wish always to hear us. Accept the prayers we offer in sadness for your servant Michal. Deliver his soul from death, number him among your saints, and clothe him with the robe of salvation. 
to enjoy forever the delights of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessings. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You're attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray the first glorious mystery of the rosary, the resurrection. Father Anston will lead us now in that prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst men, and blessed the fruits of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst men, and blessed the fruits of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst men, and blessed the fruits of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst men, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are amongst men, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are amongst men, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are amongst men, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are amongst men, and blessed the fruits of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are amongst men, and blessed the fruits of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are amongst men, and blessed the fruits of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Her Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hell alive. Fast witness and I hope. To you do we cry for any children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, money now in this valley of tears. Turn down, most gracious advocate, your eyes of men towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your own Jesus. For clement and loving us with Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, O God, so only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant to beseech you that medicine upon these mysteries. In the most holy rose of the blessed Virgin Mary, may he what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the prayers of Mary, the mother of God, who stood by the cross as her own son was dying, help all who are in mourning for Michal and accompany all of us in our time of need. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessings now of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon us all and remain with us forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Anyone wishing to offer condolences to the family, could you please form a northerly queue from the RD side over the footpath here and turn onto the grass, please? Thanks.